So today we're going to go through um, how to make your Synology. Um, it could be the any of the models. I'm using the uh, DS216J, um, but I believe this works on any of the models. Um, and using this tiny, tiny, tiny little Netgear adapter, we're going to make it wireless. <laughs> We do have to start off by having it wired in. So make sure it's on the network. Um, like I say, this is just the tiniest one I could find to make the installation as neat as possible. Um, so there's no big aerial sticking out. Um, but there's quite a few different models as well. Some of the supported models are listed on um, Synology's website. But for me, it was just a case of just trying a few out. So in the links in the video description down below, you're gonna find a couple of models that I worked with um, and they both worked out perfectly okay. One's got an aerial, a TP link, um, and the other one is, uh, like I say, this tiny little one as well, uh, both um, on the N band, so 300 megabits and above. All you need to do is spin your drive around and stick this in the USB port on the back. Once you put that in the USB port on the back, go into the control panel of your Synology control system and you basically will see a new icon for wireless. So if you wanted to, in there you could put a USB router, like a ADSL modem, um, and make this the whole routing system. Uh, you can make this an access point so everybody connects to the Synology system via the new wireless adapter. Um, and then obviously all the traffic goes out through the ethernet cable. So this effectively becomes your wireless access point like a you know normal little sort of uh, access point. So it does a lot of things as you'd expect from the Synology people, they really know how to put together a great system. But in this little example, what we're basically going to do is uh, just go through the way that you can actually connect in through the wireless. So click on wireless on the left hand side and you'll see how it's currently set up. Obviously you can change any of these configurations. I just want to join a wireless network. Um, so I've got that selected. Then I click Wi-Fi. I then click on set up a wireless network. It will then go through using the Wi-Fi adapter and find all the wireless networks around you. Um, so for this example, I'm going to connect it to my test system. We're going to put in the password. So we've put in the password and then it's going to connect to that wireless network. It literally is that simple. The unfortunate thing is all the adapters aren't listed on Synology's website. So I thought I'd just make sure that you were aware of, you know, the cheaper end of the market and what adapters you could actually put in there. Um, and how easy and how discreet it is to make this happen. Now that obviously now says it's connected. It's connected to my local Wi-Fi network. So let's prove a point now. Take the ethernet cable out. So now we've unplugged the ethernet cable, but it's connected on wireless. It's got a different IP address. Just make you aware of that one. Um, so you'll just need to go back through and reconnect using the new IP address. If you use the quick connect to, um, it will actually reroute quite quickly, seeing the fact that the uh, the wireless adapter has got a new IP address. So using this Synology's quick connect to address, uh, that's the easiest way I found. It picks up the IP address and routes it through straight away. And that's it connected. It really is that simple. We are now connected on wireless on our Synology. Uh, the Netgear N300 mini USB Wi-Fi adapter is about 15 pounds. So just, you know, relatively inexpensive really um, and again you are getting a really fast connection it will only connect as fast a connection as your wireless network but if you were to use it with the ethernet cable with this being the access point obviously your ethernet cable can be as fast as you want and then the access point through this is as fast as the uh, the little wireless adapter can take it so again, that could be the way that you do it. You could just want to set up your own different access point to your regular Wi-Fi system around your, you know, your business or your house um, and have this just be a local wireless access point for other devices. Um, but again, you know, it works perfectly okay. So if I go in and try and play one of my older videos now, 
uh, we should find that that all works fine. So if we go in there and play, again my laptop is connected to the wireless network that this is connected to. So the two aren't connected together. And there we go. It's that easy. So I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Like I say, links in the description down below to um, this Netgear product, which I think is the best really, because it's such a discreet installation and, um, and the options that you can do with the Synology wireless system are fantastic as well. Um, but that's it for this video. It was just to show you how quick and simple it can be to turn your Synology NAS drive into um, a wireless NAS drive or indeed a wireless hotspot or whatever you want to do. So where I'm actually going to use this was via a 4G Wi-Fi hotspot, um, actually uh, just out in the middle of nowhere with no sort of networking or anything like that. So my wireless hotspot would be emitting its Wi-Fi signal, my laptop would connect to it, this would connect to it as well. Remote people could come in and use the data services that are on there, synchronization, that kind of thing and I can manage it via my Wi-Fi on my laptop. So I hope you liked the video today. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did, and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. See you again now. Bye.